Okay, okay. Hopefully we're live. Hopefully we're live and we're, we're good to go. Oh. Hello everyone. This this could have been a mistake. <laughs> this might have been a mistake this live stream. Oh, I'm in a sauna. Oh. Oh, it's hot. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to power on through. We'll power through and just relax. I think I always get a bit like worked up at the beginning of a stream because I never know whether everything's set up correctly. But I'm just going to go with it. I don't care anymore. Uh, hello to um, Master Eep, Revelation 7, Jacob King, MC Crazy Gaming, me, Honest on 12. Hey, hello Tom. Uh, yeah, so like I said in my little YouTube video, I'm just going to build some Lego. I've got it right here. Uh, because I thought, I'm, I'm an adult, I can buy Lego if I want, and I am, I have, <laughs> and I'm going to build it, and I thought we'd just have a nice little stream and relax and, I don't know, if you want to ask me questions, you can make it into a bit of a q and I don't know, but, um, <clears throat> oh man, it's just so hot. It's so hot. I've been home alone the past few days, so I thought, perfect. This is loads of time to bulk record, get loads of videos stocked up, you know, so I've got I've got them ready to go for, for days, weeks even. I was thinking I was thinking long term, right? And then bam UK gets uh, gets hit with like a little mini heat wave and I can't be in this room for like longer than an hour before <laughs> I just start sweating profusely. Uh, anyway, you don't need to know that, but the point is, sadly I haven't been able to record a lot because of the heat. Uh, anyway, let's see if this works. Um, where are we? And I really hope the stream... So I, last time I did a camera stream, uh, I did it downstairs and the internet was pretty bad downstairs, the Wi-Fi. So I'm now upstairs, I'm now wired internet, so hopefully it shouldn't lag or anything, or drop frames. We shall see. Oh, wait, I need to get the, the background music open as well, don't I? Yeah, I need to get some sort of, like... What was that music I used last time? I made, like, a little... I made, like, a little playlist. Let me just try and find it. Uh, don't mind me, everyone. <laughs> Where did I put it? Hang on a minute. How are we all doing today, anyway? On this lovely Tuesday... Oh, there it is, stream music. Lovely Tuesday evening. Uh, yeah, water and fan, definitely a must. Uh, I got in my car earlier and I nearly died. Think of all the bad... The poor dogs. Think of all the dogs. Funny story, I have the exact same set right in front of me. Well, how about that? Okay, let's get this music up. It is all, yeah. Um, Must reap it. It's all royalty free. I, I nabbed it from YouTube. And it's a mixture of, I can't remember now. What is that genre of music called? Uh, <laughs> one of them's like a sort of jazzy thing. And then another one is, is it lo-fi? No, I don't think it is lo-fi. I can't remember. Anyway, let's just play them. Screw this. Uh, play all. Okay, um, you have to let me know the volume. I have no clue the volume. But, uh, yeah, if it's too loud, let me know. If it's too quiet, let me know. I was very tempted. I mean, I, I wasn't really, but... Oh my god, I would have loved to have had the, the Hamilton soundtrack. I have not stopped listening to it. I'm on the Hamilton bandwagon. Yes, I'm one of those people. I watched it on uh, uh, Disney Plus last week, and I just can't stop. I can't stop listening to it. It's so good. I've had it in my head. About George Washington and who knows what. Okay, so volume is okay, yeah? Brilliant. Uh, Alright. Let me let me turn my camera on so I can show you my sweat rag. 
Here we go. Oh, it is working. Oh, great. Okay. This is the angle we're going to go with. Hi. Um, <laughs> it's not Kesha, no. Oh, I, whenever someone mentions Kesha, I always think of that Simpsons intro. Uh, tick tock on the clock, that one. Oh. No, but... Um, no, never mind face reveal, Master Eep. We're doing sweat rag reveal, okay? It's what you all came here to see. Sweat rag reveal in three, two, one. <laughs> yes, it's a um, it's a little Homer Simpson washcloth. It's not actually that dirty yet, but I will be using this throughout the stream. Um, my mum got me this for Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. A Simpson, a Homer Simpson's face cloth, but I'm using it as a sweat rag. Whew. All right. Anyway, there it is. Oh, uh, hang on. There it is. Ta-da. Um. Yeah. So it's a. It's a. Hasn't got the text on this for some reason, but it's the toy no townhouse toy store, and it's a three in one. So what that means is, if you don't know what that means, it's a um, it's a three in one. So it also you can use the same blocks to make. Can you see those? Let me bring it a bit closer. Yeah, there. So you can also make. So that's the toy sh toy store there. You've also got what's this one? I think that's a sweet shop. As a sweet shop, and then down here is a flower shop. So that's nice, isn't it? I thought that's why I'd, I'd get this set because a it's quite small, so I should be able to do it all tonight. <laughs> Famous last words. Um, and also I can do another stream in the future and build another one. It's it's bang for my buck, guys. I was thinking, I was thinking ahead, you see. Hello, Savage Goose. Welcome to the live stream. You, you've, I've only just started, so you, yeah, all you've missed is my sweat rag reveal. Let me just drape it, and that's going to be the whole stream. Bye, everyone. <laughs> EU Lego boxes don't have the text and piece number, sadly. Yeah, I wondered why that was. I just, I don't know. It's strange. Um, don't worry about being an adult getting Lego. I'm nearly 16 and 8. 8 want the. Oh, and you want the 1989 Batmobile. That is a really good set. That is a really good set. Okay, anyway, let's get this. Let's get this thing open. Somehow. How does it. Oh, yeah, there. There's a little. Ah! There's a little thing here. All right, let's get these bad boys out because I call everything bad boys, apparently. Right, I need to move the camera back down, don't I? There we go. It's not cheap. Lego is definitely not cheap. I've got a, I've got a few sets now, and. Um, They've all been very expensive because I like the big sets. <laughs> like I say, I'm an adult and I will spend my money on what I want. I'm not going to spend it on drugs or or alcohol. Actually, that's a lie because I got a beer. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, so what? I don't care. I thought everyone was going to follow me when I said bye. Good prank. This set, so this set in terms of pieces... Well, how many pieces is this? Oh, it doesn't have it, right? You just said, didn't you? Uh, I imagine it's not too many pieces anyway, but um, this was £40, so yeah, it's it's not cheap. It's not cheap. So that man gets drunk and builds Lego. Oh, I don't want to be in the paper again. Oh. 
Can you hear me use my sweat rag? I uh, honestly, it's like 24/7. This is the best. I I recommend we all get a sweat rag. I'm gonna keep showing you it because it's disgusting. All right, let's um let's do some organising. However, I'm not gonna knoll. Do you all know what knolling is? Uh, I'm not doing it. Uh, don't drink beer. You might end up like Mole Man. <laughs> Oh no! Thank you, Revelation Seven, for subscribing for two months. Did the did the Marge go off? I hope it did. I might have missed it. Anyway, actually, that wouldn't be Marge. That would be that would be uh, what's her face? Oh, I might not have added it to this one. Oh no! I don't think I did add it to this one. Whoops. But thank you anyway. So here is the the booklet. It's actually quite hefty. Um, I guess it's because it's got three builds. So I I'm not gonna know. And I, I mean I don't really think I can show you this because of the angle. But I can show you some bits. You just have to trust me and watch me. Drunk man yells at. <laughs> Listen, I haven't drunk much recently because of the whole COVID stuff and not being able to go out, but I'm not a complete lightweight yet. One beer will not get me wasted. Or will it? Okay. So we got these two base plates. Little ones, anyway. Bag one. Bag two, and the other bag one. I should have. This is my non-sweat rag. I just realised I need to wipe that. So let's get these open. Oh, maybe I could do some ASMR for you. Would you like some ASMR? Let's get some ASMR in here. Get rid of that, that country western. Here we go. Uh, is that nice? Oh wait, you can't hear that. I need to do it in the microphone. Tapping. I haven't got any pickles. If we get hold of that sweat rag, we can clone him. Oh, please don't clone me. The world is strange enough with one of me. Uh, okay, so these are some more little bits. Ooh. I'm just spotting some interesting looking pieces. See, I like... So basically, if you don't know, nolling as it's referred to, is um, taking all these bits, right? And, you know, you can you see, yeah, like you start to organize them by color and you start to line them up all nice and neat, so on and so forth. Like you take all these, you take all these bits and then you put them all over there. But no, I don't like this because I think part of the fun of building Lego is doing this, you know, like rummaging and trying to find that one little bit and then you go, oh my god, it's not here, they haven't put it in, and then you find it, because Lego very, very rarely makes mistakes. Um, see, I nearly lost a bit there. Oh! But that's just my own opinion, you know. Other people do like to know. They might find that bit, the relaxing bit. I just... What I don't understand with Lego, maybe someone can enlighten me on this, is why some bags are in bags, and because this doesn't seem like anything specific, or actually it might be, but yeah, their bagging process does bamboozle me sometimes. Right, there we are, that's all of bag one. Let's have a look at some interesting pieces, shall we? We have... 
how well can you see this stuff? Is it going to focus? Oh, it is, kind of. Got some money. Got a little, uh, little lady. How close can I get with this? Eh, not great, but yeah, little old lady. Well, she might not be old, but she has got little wrinkles, so I'm going to guess she is. Yellow top. Ooh, what is that one? Ooh, look at this. <gasps> oh, look at this. Hang on. I really hope this focuses. My fingers are getting so sweaty already. This is a little, um, it's a little Lego set. No, it's not focusing very well. But it's a tiny, it's a teeny tiny little Lego set in a Lego build. That's amazing. It's not really amazing, but it's pretty neat. Uh, okay. That seems like it in terms of like the really standout bricks to me. I don't know what that is meant to be. It's like a little knife or something. Uh, I'm the complete opposite of Nolling. I rip open every bag and go from there. Yeah, quite right. Quite right. Okay, I'm gonna get started and see how we go. So yeah, we're, we're aiming to build that, remember? We've got two floors. It's got a little canopy. It's even got a little, um, yeah, those rides that you go on when you're a little kid and it moves you. It moves me. See, look, even the Lego people say you should just, you should just bung it all on the table and, and go at it like an animal. All right, I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna put these there. I'm not gonna bother showing you every instruction because it's too difficult. What is the one Lego set you want? Um, the one that I really wanted, I got in the end. It was a uh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay set. Um, I need to move some of this out of the way. Which is basically like a, a, a Monkey Island, the, the the Lego set. Oh no, old lady's head is rolling. Come here. Yeah, it was basically Monkey Island, the set. And I got it, I got it as a gift, so that was sweet. I'm definitely gonna lose some bits here. Right, this is my little work area here, you see. All right. Let's get started. That's a very sudden change of music right there. Blimey. I will try and remember to show you every now and then, because I know this angle is not the best. But um, yeah, we shall see. Anyway, yeah, feel free to ask me any questions. Um, I used to do, believe it or not, a Q&A series um, which you know I take questions on a Google form and uh, uh, yeah answer <laughs> that is what a Q&A is although I, I, didn't, I haven't done any in a while just because I think I have to wait for questions to build up and also sounds like such a first world problem but I, Trying to find footage for that series was really annoying sometimes because it's like I had to play a game to get background footage, but I could only play it for like half an hour. Well, I couldn't only play it, but I had to play it for at least half an hour and I had to get to a bit that was like, would make for good background footage. Um, which surprisingly is not everything. So, you know, if it had lots of background dialogue, I didn't want that because then I'd have people talking behind me in the video, which is no good. So, it was a pain. What colour is that? I want the UCS Star Destroyer. That one sounds big and scary. 
Mine would be the, the £650 Millennium Falcon that wouldn't even fit in my room. Oh, I know another one as well, actually. I've thought of another one. Um, what's it called? Oh, Hogwarts. <laughs> I think it's like £300. Um, but yeah, it's like a, it's a big old Hogwarts set. But it is micro scale, which I'm not a massive fan of, but it really is the only way they could do it. So, I understand. I do understand. Where is it? See, I'm already losing pieces. How am I this bad? I'm looking for another one of these long grey bits. If you can see it. <laughs> Come and help me. Uh, see, this is the point where I'll be like, oh no, Lego, Lego have messed up and they're missing a piece. But, um, they probably haven't. That's probably me just being blind. This bit's already been connected, look at that. What's going on here? How many pieces is that? Oh, I'm such an idiot. It's not a whole new tile, it's adding on to this bit. That's why I can't find it. Oh, that means that bit was not the right bit. Wait, that's not the right one. It's this one! Haha, -ha, it's this bit. Alright, that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. I remember that old series. I had a lot of questions in that series. Maybe you could upload live streams as background footage. That's a good idea, actually. That's a really good idea. Very good. Come on now. You'll get to see my veiny hands now. Um... Tom says, as someone who doesn't collect Lego, how do you move a load of Lego sets when you move to a new house? Do you break them down and rebuild them? Ah, oh, well, funnily enough, I've had to deal with this exact situation very recently. That's probably why you asked it. Um, yeah, so for some of them, I broke them down completely. And for other ones, I sort of half took them apart, but not completely. I didn't go in every single brick and... Um, and go through them because that is actually quite a lot of work especially on flat ones so like going through and taking off all of these you would need where's the do they not give you a brick separator wow they're getting stingy with the separators how about that disgusting disgusting And these first stages of Lego building are always kind of weird because it's like, you know, the base doesn't really look like anything at the moment. It's not until you start to build it up a bit more then you start to see the structure and then it looks really cool. All right, this is what I've done so far, everyone. Isn't it lovely? I keep every box and put the pieces in bags, yeah. We did do that for some, yeah. Imagine leaving a piece behind, yeah. The thing is with Lego is that, um, uh, what was I gonna say? It collects dust so easily as well. So if you have them on display, um, okay, so now that bit gets joined. If you have them on display, uh, they get dusty and then you take them apart and then you kind of almost have to clean them. This is looking a bit more done. Okay. Oh, come back here, little glass dome. Okay. Oh, 
Also, I'm left-handed, so I'm trying not to cover the the Lego uh, with my hand. Didn't think that one through, did I? This is weird, building Lego with my right hand. Ew, disgusting. Uh, no, actually, I don't need to separate you either. <laughs> MC Crazy Gaming. I've got loads as well. It's just weird. I thought they'd give you one in every set. But um, maybe it's like how you don't get USB plugs anymore. Because everyone already has them. Okay. This music is very funky. So I've got all of this music in the background that you're listening to right now from the YouTube audio library. And uh, most of it well, actually, that's a lie. I was going to say most of it's really bad. Actually, a lot of it is surprisingly good. There's some really good little hidden gems in there. I'll say that. Okay. And... Uh... Ha ha. So I'm guessing this is going to... Oh, whoops. I'm breaking it. This is going to be the front. So it'll be like that. I got the Batman tumbler and you don't really see it until like three quarters of the way through. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, I'm meant to have, I'm sure I've heard this track already. Then, oh, it is on shuffle though. But it's meant to be like over an hour at least. I'm gonna skip this one for now. I don't know what I've listened to or, or not already, so never mind. All right, I've got to keep in the same orientation as I'm looking at on the thing, otherwise I get confused. My poor little brain can't handle it. <gasps> That's not the right bit. Oh, I nearly put in, I nearly put in the prized tiny mini Lego City set. Oh. Use a paper organizer as parts tray. I should have maybe got something, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, I just want regular blue. That's, a, that's another one. The colours might very well change, Tom, actually, yeah. Um, I don't know how good this camera is. It might be like trying to autofocus or something and mess up the white. Actually, I think it's also auto white balance, so it might be trying to, trying to do that as well. Oh, interesting. It wants me to... What does it? Does it want me to open both bags? Wait. No, it doesn't. Why would I think that? Foolish. I found it. It's this little piece here. This tiny little blue piece. Uh, oh, look at that. It's like a little corner. That's cool. I'm going to need all of these. Mm. Hmm. Ah, oh, there you are hiding from me. Did you know that only 32% of my average Mucklucks viewers are subscribed? Make sure to subscribe now. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think it's it's way less than that. If I had thirty two percent of viewers subscribed, I'd be I'd be quids in. But no, I think it's more like. Or am I thinking of? I might be thinking of uh, the bell. To be honest, one of them was really bad though. Um, I think it probably is the bell one. OK, 
Okay, that's what I need. I need white 2 by ones This is like a little... Uh, I'm making like a little sort of patio thing in the corner up here. Which I like the look of. Oh, this track reminds me of Planet Coaster. Which had some really good music. I really wanted to use that, but again, I was worried about copyright stuff, so I didn't bother. Um, but yeah, Planet Coaster has a great soundtrack. Highly recommend. Kind of want to get one of my sets out and start building too. Yeah, build along with me. It's a build along. This sounds like, um, hang on. Okay, no, it's not. I thought for one, at one point there, I might have got the um, Outer Wilds soundtrack on here because that also has some just amazing music. Really very good. Uh, thoughts on Destroy All Humans remake after it's been out for a little bit. Um, well, do you know what? I was meaning to record tonight, but I ran out of time and I thought I'd do this instead. Uh, I really haven't played a enough of it to to get a good idea. However, what I will say is I'm very, very pleased at how much attention it's getting. Uh, it's getting way more than I thought it would, just in terms of like general videos on it being made. I know that's not the best representation of how it's doing. Although its sales are pretty well good, so I read. Um, but yeah, just like quite big YouTubers doing videos on it that I really didn't think they would. Typically now I forgot all of the ones I saw, but yeah. And the good thing about this is that, you know, the more attention it gets, the more press, the more coverage, and hopefully the more sales, the more likely it will be to have a future. Um, which... <laughs> I mean, I'd be happy with it just dying now, you know, at least we got something uh, 12 years after the last game came out. But if the series manages to um, kind of go somewhere later on, then yeah. I know a lot of people say Destroy Humans 2 remake, and I know that probably is the most likely thing to happen, especially how you know, all the Spyros and the crashes have kind of followed that suit. They've done remakes before new games. But the Crash is finally getting a new game. But um, I don't know. The thing about Destroy Humans 2 getting a remake, I'd, I'd have to play it, right? I'd have to play it, and that means it would be the third playthrough of that game on my channel. I don't know if I can handle that. There's already, with this latest series, four Let's Plays of Destroy Humans. Five, if you include the live stream of um, Path of the Furon. Good God, that's too much. That's too, too much. Um, I build along, but I don't have the patience. That's fine. Hopefully you have the patience to watch. Um, and And chat. I think there was a big marketing push for you on YouTube and it found a good time to release. That is true. It did have more of a push than I thought it would actually, yeah. I just assumed that Spongebob was going to blow it out the water. But actually, I don't know now. I think it's it's quite even. So yeah. And yeah, you're right about it being a good time. You know, everyone's stuck indoors. And it's a cheap game as well, it's not a full price game, so people might be more willing to buy it because of that. You've got the Star Wars A-Wing. Oh, nice. I've got some old school uh, uh, Star Wars Lego, back from when I was like... Uh, 10, probably a bit younger actually, um, Phantom Menace Lego sets, <laughs> oh the Yoda is so weird, so weird, 
I have the pod race set. When I say I have, I've lost all the pieces to mo like a lot of it. Um, but a lot of it remains. I had the pod race set and I had a lot of the Harry Potter Lego as well. From around that time, so Chamber of Secrets. Uh, and Philosopher's Stone. Okay, we're starting to build up the wall now. Look at this go. Ho oh. ho. I'll give you a little update. Here it is, as you can see. There is the wall with a little uh, Technic connection. This is a good, a good time to squidge it all down, make sure it's nice and flat. Okay. Do I like Alfred Hitchcock? Um, you know what? I really haven't watched many of his films. His sort of films are those ones where it's like on those lists of uh, classics you should really watch, you know? Kind of like Citizen Kane. And I don't think I've seen any Hitchcock, shamefully. Um, I think I might have started to watch Psycho at some point, but I didn't get through to the end. I don't know why. And I've seen clips of things like The Birds and um, Vertigo. In fact, the most I've probably seen of Alfred Hitchcock is The Simpsons referencing it <laughs> in their episodes, like when Bart breaks his leg and it's like rear window. That's the closest I've come. Oh, 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 this wall is unstable. Hang on. Come here, you little git. There we go. Uh, I got my predicted exam results last week. Oh, that's a whole weird thing going on right now, isn't it? I know there's a lot of stuff in the news about Scotland and their predicted grades and people aren't happy with it and so on and so forth. So, hopefully you did alright. Hopefully you're happy with your results. You got what you needed. Uh, I got my copy arriving tomorrow. I got it for £28. So I'm guessing you got a physical copy. I'm actually very impressed with the PC version at the moment. Like, I mean, I haven't played much, but yeah, it runs pretty well. And I haven't got the best computer by any means. I've got a decent graphics card, but my um, uh, my processor is old, 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 old. Okay, where are we up to? Have I done this one? Yes, I'm onto this one. All we're doing right now is just building up a big wall. No Trump references. <laughs> is this a sticker or is this a print? Oh, I think it's a print. Oh, thank goodness for that. Because look at this, I even came prepared. I even got with me a pair of tweezers in case I needed to apply some stickers. But if I don't have to do any stickers in this set, which it looks like I don't, because I would have got them at the beginning, probably. Result. I'd love to see your old Lego in the style of the Pokemon stream. <laughs> the only the only thing I, I'm not... Uh, I'd be a little bit embarrassed because a lot of it's so disgustingly dirty and horrible. Because um, at one point I spilled... I think I spilled some coke. 
<laughs> over my Lego. Not all of it, but some of it, and you can only imagine what that's done. It's congealed a little bit, some of the pieces. Yeah, maybe I'll go through it and clean it first, and then you can see. <laughs> Alright, so let me show you this print, if you can see it. This is really cool. So, this right here... Oh, you can see that. It's a little, uh, a li little Lego set. It's a Lego set in a Lego set, and that looks like one of the, um... The streets, you know, the street module sets. That's great. I love that. It's a, it's the hotel. I don't know if it's a real one, but they've kind of tried to make it look like that. And that goes on there, like so. There it is. Did you watch the Ratchet and Clank film? I did not. Shamefully, I did not. You can blame me partly for uh, for it not doing as well as people hoped, because <laughs> you know I I should have went to see that. I should have supported those sort of films because Ratchet and Clank is a great series, and I'm sure the film was was good. It's just one of those films that probably doesn't capture the mass audience market. But yeah, I heard it was good. Okay, we're moving over to here now to this this brick. And we're going to stack six, six of these, six of those, to get a column. Oh crap, hang on, I need to scroll up, I'm missing the chat. Hitchcock looks like Churchill if he was a director. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of people got their grade put down, but I got seven A's. Holy moly. Nice. Nice job. Oh. Oh, it's going to really annoy me. So the thing we're doing, like, these sort of builds is, like, they can very easily end up like this. And it's terrible. So I need to make sure they're all, you know, perfectly aligned or at least as perfect as I can. That's all right. Happy with that. There we go. Except for that top one. Oh no, I'm making it worse. There we go. Wait, are you talking about grades? Ooh. A seven here would be a D. Oh, okay, right. Couldn't recommend the Ratchet and Clank film. Saw it in the cinema. Oh no! A kids film that you forget shortly after seeing it. Well, that is a shame. I thought, it, I mean, it, it looks pretty good. Visually, it looked alright. So, I, I don't know. I just... I just thought they'd do okay at it. But I guess not. Right. I'm making windows now. Oh, these... These windows are quite scratched. That's a shame. This one's pretty badly scratched. Maybe I need to clean it. Maybe it's just like a residue. Well, anyway, I'll do that later. How do these go? Oh, I hate doing windows in Lego. I hate it. Because they never... There we are. Pop in like I want them to. Lego movie is fantastic. Yeah. Sadly though, not the second one. I thought the second one was a bit, like Tom says, unforgettable. Oh, I hate doing these. I just hate them. That's not even in properly, is it? Or is it just moving a little bit? Hmm. No, this one doesn't feel like it's in right. But it is. Oh, huh, strange. Uh, yeah, Lego Movie 2 I didn't like very much at all. There was funny parts to it, but it just didn't have the same uh, 
charm as the first one did really. Okay, so these are going. Ones are going on here. And then two are going on here. Make sure I get the windows facing the right way. Which is this way. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I might go. I might watch it now. The Ratchet and Clank game, if it's if it's on some sort of streaming service, which I'm sure it probably is. Uh, yeah, I suppose they're trying to hype the game. True, it did come out at the same time as the game, didn't it? Oh, now I'm doing this door. Okay, that was all right. There's the door. And the door is going, as you can imagine, right here. Oh, that fits really nice. Oh, Lego is just so satisfying sometimes when it all just lines up. And I guess that's the whole point of Lego, right? That it lines up. Oh, I missed something. I forgot the door handle. Oh, hang on. There we go. There is the door handle. Okay, we've got to start building faster, I feel like. We're not getting anywhere with this. Well, we are a little bit, but Lego just takes time. Okay, so this is a long bit that goes all the way along the top. Let's see if I can get this to line up. I cannot. Hang on. There we go. So it might still be on Netflix then. Okay. Okay, and these two bits go on there. Right. Looking good. Ooh. So we're getting five of these columny bits. And these will go centered along here. Very nice. And then on this side. Oh yeah. That looks great. Okay. I feel like Netflix doesn't really have the great that great options. Everything on there are teen rom-coms, films that I've already seen, or low-budget action films. The thing with Netflix is uh, they've almost got too many originals now, and it's um, it's kind of. I remember when it was basically just House of Cards and Orange Is the New Black. Uh, and I'm not trying to be hipstery about about Netflix, but it was, you know, sometimes less is more. Um, I'm just making these, by the way. It's three little studs on a three by one. And, you know, House of Cards was, was great up until a certain point, and now <laughs> it's kind of been ruined by Kevin Spacey to an extent. Although I don't necessarily agree that, you know, I can separate the art from the artist for the most part. Um... Yeah, later seasons of that show were bad. Like, just... And I know they were kind of written into a corner a little bit because they had to write Kevin Spacey out of the show, but, oh, they did such a pig's ear of it. Truly. Okay, I'm going to have to pick this up because I can't get these in. Hang on. Tell you what, though, I'm so glad Netflix has friends. I know I'm a sado for saying that, but... Get out of the way, little fly. Um, I love Friends. Just about to finish another run through of it. But I will start watching something new as well. If 
for example, I'm only like five years late to it, but I finally started watching Rick and Morty. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And you know what? It's weird, but all right, now I'm doing this. I'm getting this little thing, as you can see, and I'm sticking it on the end of this black thing, like so. Gah! Like that. Oh, hello, Dennis. How was your point and click game? Which does look very strange. I was watching a bit of it earlier. Also, I'm not a hipster. <laughs> I can't grow a goatee. Which is just so sad to say that, but it's true. Okay, there's another one. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, right. That's actually pretty tough to do, but there we are. I think they're in as far as they can go. And they just go on top like that. Oh wait, I don't want, no, hang on, I don't want that side showing. I want the side without the little hole on it. Something like that, in the instructions, if you can see that. Uh, yeah, uh, Rick and Morty. Um, the one thing I, I don't like about it, and I'm going to sound like such an old lady. <laughs> what was that line that Ned says about someone? It calls someone a biddy. i got to remember what that quote is, because I need to start using that quote more. It's like, someone is a something old biddy. Oh, <laughs> Tom might know if Tom's still in the chat. Um... But yeah, I'm going to sound like an old biddy because it's very grotesque at times. Like, does it have to be so, like, disgusting? I mean, the answer is yes, because that's just that's just its style, right? But honestly, it's, I don't want to see, even if it is animated, faces getting smushed open. A boring old biddy. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm putting on... Oh, these are little lights, I think. They're little lights. I'm going back to school tomorrow. Anyone know what it's like going back? Can't help you there, I'm afraid. I've seen some videos. And... Um, I mean, it doesn't look too bad for the most part. The, the thing I saw was that students are being put in their own little student bubbles where they can only hang around with the same students the whole day which makes sense I guess but imagine if you're not grouped up with your friends and you can't actually see them at school that suck okay I'm putting on more roof I want to say it's when he's in the AA meeting. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, I thought he said it when he went to bed. I can't remember now, though. I've, that's another thing I've been not doing, is watching a lot of Simpsons, obviously, on Disney+, Plus, as well as Hamilton. But yeah. You can't beat the classics. It's kind of crazy, because it's like... It's still a very new thing, but it's... You know, having the Simpsons on demand, at least over here anyway. I think in America you might have been able to do that before. But here we never had that sort of Simpsons on demand thing. And I I don't think I could ever go back. Like it's just so great not to have to pull out a um a DVD, put it in, you know, make sure you get the right set, blah blah blah. I'm gonna sound so lazy here, but it's true. And it's just every episode, more or less at your disposal. I'm now making, if you can see, let me show you the book. I haven't showed you the book in a while. Here we are. I'm now doing the awning. I'm doing the awning, as you can see. There. 
Okay. Where's it gone? Over here. And actually, I say every episode. It's not got every episode. I know they censored that Mar that one Michael Jackson one. Which... At first, I was, I was like, how dare they? How dare they censor The Simpsons? But, you know... They own it, they can do what they want. I've got it on physical media, so I don't care. I don't care. And if it is true that he... he If he did use his appearance on The Simpsons to groom children, then maybe I don't want to watch the episode anymore. Even though it is a great episode. Even though it is a great episode about... Homer going insane and Lisa, Lisa, it's your birthday and all that good stuff. Uh, my older brother was very creative with Lego when we were younger. I could only build things after instructions. He made up crazy looking spaceships. I was so jealous. That is something that some people complain about Lego these days is that there's not enough emphasis on making your own things. Uh, which is true. I mean, they do have... I'm bringing it a bit closer. They do have the, the general... Like basic blocks sets but um, there is a lot of emphasis on you know Lego set uh, the Star Wars sets or the Marvel sets or so but, you know I, I was the same when I was younger I used to, you know I, I had the the Star Wars um, uh, pod racing set but you know I took all that apart after I'd done it and I made my own spaceships and mixed it in with the Harry Potter Lego set, so I had Dobby. <laughs> Dobby riding a spaceship. Creepy Dobby. Nightmare inducing Dobby. Alright, putting on the other awning. There we go, there it is. We're looking like a shop here, people. I keep putting it over there, but it's actually kind of here where you can see it. Do I have the Simpsons DVDs? I do. I have seasons 1 through to 11. So, you know, the important ones. Um, yeah. And I mean, actually, I don't know. I've never checked, but I don't think they are. Uh, one of the good things about having... The DVDs is the director's commentaries on them, which I, I'm assuming isn't on the Disney Plus because I don't think they put commentaries on there yet. Or do they? I really don't know. Um, but it'd be great if they did. That'd be a fantastic feature because I really enjoyed listening to the director's commentaries on Simpsons. I thought it was quite insightful and actually legitimately funny sometimes. You know, the stuff they talk about. Oh. Get on there, there we go. Oh wait, that one's wrong. Oh! No! You go there. Stupid bug, you go squish now. Yeah, I love that episode, but I don't know about the whole Michael thing. It's such an iconic episode as well, but it's a bit uncomfortable given the context. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, I don't know if it's true or not. I, I don't think anyone will know if it's true or not. But, yeah. So there's definitely a wider discussion there. <laughs> I still like the episode, though. I think it's still, like you say, it's a classic episode. Just like all those old ones are, really. All right, we're looking good here. Uh, my shop, by the way, it sells toys. It's a toy shop. I have a great merch idea. Make your own banana business. Uh, as in sell bananas? Don't you get those crazy, creepy bugs and spiders in, in bananas? You can get the big boxes of random blocks. Yeah, 
Exactly. Okay, we're now making some little street lamps. Using these uh, transparent yellow cylinders. They go on there. And then a little cap on them. And look at that. It's a teeny little lamp. And that goes down there. Do I have the Simpsons movie? Uh, yeah, I think so. Actually, I don't know. I... Yeah, I do. I do have the Simpsons movie, but I've never actually watched it since... Um... Well, I probably have watched it at least once, but I have not watched it very much, truth be told, since it came out. Mainly because I remember when I first watched it, I didn't really like it. Oh, I didn't think it was as good as it could be. I remember complaining. Um, oh, crap. I, uh, I missed Savage Goose leaving. Bye, Savage Goose. Um, mainly because I was thinking the storyline they went with in the movie was kind of a bit limiting t in terms of, you know, they have a whole cast of secondary characters and they didn't... They didn't really use them, in my opinion. They did a little bit, but not as much as, not as much as they could do. What am I doing with this one here? Hang on. Oh, that's the wrong. Oh, look, that's the wrong brick. It's this one. So they're very similar. That one has. Oh, can I even see? That one has little things on both sides. That one only has oh, on one side. Oh my goodness, I've missed so much chat. Hang on. Uh, I'm going to be responding to really old comments. Hang on. Do you like Conan? His work on The Simpsons was incredible. Marge versus the monorail. Absolutely. Yeah, I still... Uh, I listen to... I listen to Conan's podcast. Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. I listen to that quite a lot. Because he has some really good guests. And it's just... Oh, my hands are getting really sway. Um, where's my sweat rag? Yeah, he has good guests, and it's just a really funny guy. So, they had Jeff Goldblum on the commentary for his episode. Like, which episode was he in? Am I going to be shamed for not remembering this? I'm looking for another red grabby one. Red grabby one. I need a red grabby one. Oh, there it is. Sneaky little thing. All right, so I'm making something quite cool here. Uh, you you will soon see what it is. I was gonna do a uh, <laughs> I was gonna do a Rolf Harris thing then, but I can't do Rolf Harris anymore because he's a paedophile. And it's just not cricket to do that impression anymore. Okay, let me just build this and I'll check back on chat. But look at this. Look at that. Let me put him down. Oh, come on now. Oh. Oh, no. He's drunk. Oh, it's because that bit's too long. All right, I'm just gonna hold him. It's a little, um, a little soldier. It's a little soldier. I wonder if Jay Leno would take over for Ellen after her thing. I had rumours it was gonna be James Corden. As if we need more of him. <laughs> well, America's got him. It's fine. I remember you saying you liked it in the cinema, but uh, you watched it on TV. You disliked it, huh? Maybe I did do that. He was Troy's agent in the episode where he marries Selma. Oh, right. Yes. Yes, of course. Well, I say of course. I mean, I didn't remember that, but... <laughs> wow, you've already done your A-wing. I'm just slow. 
Anyway, little toy soldier man. He goes down here. Guarding the entrance. Like so. Okay, on this side we're going to go with... A little gold bit. Okay. Oh, I know what this is, I think. Is this a bubblegum stand? A bubblegum machine? I think it's going to be a bubblegum machine. Only three, yeah, three pink ones. Three pink studs. And they go in there. Oh, I dropped one. And then the red cap. Oh, look at that. A little bubble gum machine. Wait, let me move it closer. Isn't that cute? That goes over here, facing away for some reason. Wait. Wait, I did it wrong. How did I do this wrong? Ah, oh, okay, yeah. The gold bit was the base, so like that. There we go. Yeah, I'd be terrible at, at Lego racing in terms of speed, but then yeah. I think Lego should be, it, it's, it's not the uh, destination, it's the journey or whatever sh spiel they say. Okay, we're now building a little... We're now building a little sort of uh, truck bus thing. So this is quite good. I like this. Oh, look. See, this is what's so clever. It's the way that they use blocks... Uh, that I would never have thought of. So this, if you can see, they're little tires. The top, the studs, are now the tires. Genius. Genius. Oh wait, whoops. Well, I did that wrong. Oh no. This is where I need a um, brick separator because. Oh my goodness, I need to get these two I need to get these two bits of heart. This is gonna be a pain. Okay, don't mind me as I just tear my fingernails off trying to do this. Oh I can't do it. <laughs> oh. Did I ever get around to playing Lego Indiana Jones? No, although I have got it. I think at one point, Humble Bundle or someone did a um, Lego Games bundle. And there were so many in there. Guys, I'm nervous. I've messed up here. And I cannot get these two pieces out. <laughs> I might need to get my brick separator. Although, how is this gonna? How is this gonna help? Oh my god, I did it! I did it! I may have just had to use my teeth slightly, but I did it. Oh, sweat rag! <laughs> right, let's rebuild this. What I just did and had to take apart. Right, pay attention, Joe. Now it's two flat one studs, like that, and like that, with a gold piece in the middle. How was Tom a poet? What did I miss? The real Lego. Oh yeah, the real Lego was friends we made. The real Lego building was the friends we made along the way. Indeed. If you could bring out a brand of Lego based on a game, what would it be? 
Uh, can they re re release the Simpsons ones? Because I missed out on getting those. <laughs> and I'd really like the Quickie Mart set. The house I didn't really like as much, but the Quickie Mart I thought was really good. I don't know why I didn't buy it. Uh, but no, okay, another set, another another genre. Um, hmm. Do you know what? It's crazy because I would have said I'm just trying to think of some of the Lego ideas, you know, the user, the fan generated ones, and I would have said something like Friends, but they did it. Uh, Destroy humans would not work as Lego. Time splitters. No, I'm getting too too niche. It needs to be something more mass appeal. Oh, I know, Futurama. If they did Simpsons, why can't they do a Futurama? I know that it's now Comedy Central that owns it, but they should do a um, Planet Express set. That'd be great. And it's like, yeah, what if they could do Simpsons, they can do... They can do Futurama. Why not? There it is. Oh no, I put it the wrong way around. Wheels go that way facing out. And I forgot to put the studs on. I'm messing up, I'm, I'm losing, losing track of it. So actually these are the wheels, I was completely wrong before. They've just covered them up. There we go. See you later, MC Crazy Gaming. Thank you for coming along. Hello, Wax Oink. <laughs> Wax Oink. <laughs> uh, Futurama doesn't appeal to Lego's brand. They got in trouble for doing Lego Apu. Well, that was before the whole Apu controversy even started as well. So, yeah, I guess it would be even worse now. Um... But yeah, maybe, I'd, maybe, I don't think, Future Armor probably isn't as popular as, um, say, the Flintstones or Friends, which are, you know, have become real sets. But nonetheless, I, I think there's, or at least I'd like to think there's still a bit of a, a market there for it, even though it... <laughs> It has been cancelled three times. You know, who's, who's to say that it, that doesn't mean people don't like it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, this bit, so this weird looking bit, which looks a bit like a traffic light. As you can see, is now becoming a train base. Oh, not like that though. Ooh. Like that. How clever. I'm going to put on the front of it. Like so. There's the front of the train. Would the Planet Express set be the ship or the building? Good question. In my head, I, I was thinking um, building, but actually the ship makes way more sense because they do a lot of spaceships, obviously with Star Wars stuff. So yeah, probably the ship, actually. Oh, this isn't a bus. This is a train carriage. It's a train carriage. As you can see when I put this on. Ready? Ah! Wait a minute. There we go. And then I've got kind of like, it just sort of implies that they're connected with a little kink like that. Something like that anyway. So there you are, there's a the train. Let me move it a bit closer.
This train is rearing a bit, isn't it? Hang on, let's just try and straighten that up. Oh, this is actually really hard. Hang on. Is that even still on? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Anyway, that'll do. Oh, no, it's just come off. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. That looks about right. So what is the, the best Lego video game? Hmm. Oh, we're now going on to the inside of the store. I think a lot of people would say the original Star Wars ones, uh, mainly because they were very sort of, um, I don't know what the right word is, but kind of pure, <laughs> that's not the right word, but they were just, since they were the first ones, they were very simple and they didn't have any voice acting and yeah. I really enjoyed the Star Wars Lego games. Both of them actually, the, the prequels and the original series. We're making a plane now, by the way. This is going to be the propeller. Which is what that weird knife looking thing was. I showed way at the beginning. It's a propeller, everyone. Look at that. Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, yeah. Got a lot of nostalgia for the original Lego Star Wars, yeah. Lego Racers. <laughs> Lego Island. Oh no, that video was weird. That game was a strange one. Oh wow. Look at this, we're making a little biplane. Oh! Oh! Dropping pieces. Look at the little biplane, isn't that cute? I like that. And then it goes on a stand, which is here. So that goes in there like that. And then that goes facing the window. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. on earth does this fit in there? There we go. That's a bit finicky. But you can't see it. There it is. Apparently they're making a new Lego Star Wars of all nine films. Yeah, I saw the tr uh, like a teaser trailer for that. But that was a while ago. And I would have thought that would have come out by now. But they're almost kind of remastering, remaking the... Um, but well, all of them, yeah. Okay, we are now building more little trains. This set is obsessed with trains, which I'm not complaining about because, you know, I, I like trains. <laughs> I like trains. That's what I'm going to be when I'm an old man. I mean, I already, I already did model trains when I was a kid, so I'm just going to kind of go full circle and go back to it when I'm retired haha <laughs> when I retire good joke eh okay where's I'm missing a piece no I'm not they're both here oh cool. so what I'm doing right here if that bit will go on, yeah. It's putting on the top of this train. 
Is that it? Is that the train? Feels like it's missing something. It is, it's missing another set of wheels. There we go. Have I watched a razor head? Is that David Lynch? It looks scary, if that's what I'm thinking of. Um, but no, I haven't, no. Okay, this, I'll just turn it around for a sec. Goes on there, so it's sitting right there. We're almost done with this first bag and I think we might just do the first bag for tonight because I am very slowly being cooked alive here. Very, very slowly. It's like, you know, a slow cooker. You know, when you go out, go out to work, well, before COVID, and uh, you come back home and you've got a nice stew sitting for you. I'm the stew. What am I even talking about? See, I'm getting delirious from this heat. Okay, now I'm making the counter, it seems. So this looks like it's going to be a teal. And I've got to put some money on the, on the counter. Where's that little dollar gone? Little Lego money. So this is the counter. When do you think No Time to Die will be out? Um, definitely not November. I think they're going to push it back again. Because they need it to make money obviously so they want it when cinemas are back to normal and they're definitely I highly highly doubt they would ever do anything like what some films are doing and doing like direct to film a uh, direct to TV rental sort of thing and I wouldn't want them to either because Bond is meant to be oh, I'm doing this wrong um, you know Bond is meant to be a big blockbuster occasion so as much as it pains me to say it I think I'd rather wait and it will be over a year <laughs> thinking about it it will be well it's meant to come out in November 2019 and if it's not coming out till 2021 then that makes me very sad but uh, it's just the way it is isn't it that's just the way it is Ooh, this song's got a bit creepy at the end there. Alright, this is the till. Or the cash register. Nice, that looks really good. Oh, hang on, I've got to do the... Oh, it's like a proper old school one. Like with the big arms that go cha-ching. Cha-ching, like in that Simpsons mod. <laughs> cha-ching, cha-ching. Like that. And then that sits on there like so. Cool. Oh. That's it, that's it for bag one. Wait, did I forget to do the minifig? I think I did. I did, I forgot to do the minifig, how rude of me, let's finish on that then shall we? See, so yeah, all of these, well not that, but uh, all of this stuff ah, is spares, I love spares, I'm probably getting enough spares to build its own little set now on its own, using just the, <laughs> those pieces, yeah so those bits there, they're all sticking to my hand, that's where I, how sweaty I am. Sweat rag. Uh, so yeah, let's build the old lady. Old lady goes on. There's her head. Uh, and then, oh, that's it. She doesn't have any accessories. Nothing like that. Very simple lady. There she is. 
Who's your favourite singer? I know you like Freddie and Bowie. I do, yeah. I don't listen to enough Bowie as I probably should do. Um, but I do listen to a fair bit of Queen. Favourite singers are... Oh, favourite singer. I don't think I can name one. That's too difficult. Let's put her behind the teal. Hang on, let me just put her here. There she is. And then... You can just about see her through the window. Favourite singer, though? I, there's just too many. There's just too many. I don't have one. I, like, I go through different phases. Like, at one point, I was listening to loads of Roy Orbison. <laughs> Which is like, you know, someone that your granny would listen to. Pretty woman walking down the street. But I was listening to him. I don't know why. Uh... I need to listen to more modern music, I feel like. I know a lot of people might be like, oh, modern, modern music sucks, but I know it doesn't. I know it's out there. You just have to find it. And um, my friend recently has got really into music. Like, he never was before very much, but now he is finding all of these, like, indie bands and this music I would not have known about. So I need to take a page out of his book and do that sort of stuff. Anyway... So I'm going to leave it there for this Lego set. We've still got... I mean, that is, I think, a slightly smaller bag. So probably about the same amount to do next time with bags two and three, where we shall be building, if you can see on here, um, the first floor, if you are European, I guess, or the second floor, if you're in America. Um... I'm not actually sure what the top floor is. Whether it's meant to be a little shop of its own or just somewhere... Like a house, maybe? I'm taking a sneak peek ahead. Oh, it is a house. That's cute. It's a little house. That would be nice. And no stickers at all in this set. I'm chuffed to bits about that. Anyway. Now build Season 3 Castle with interior. Um, okay, hang on. Hang on, I'm just... The, the, an extra challenge, I can only use the spares. Oh, that's not even a stud, I can't do that. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I mean, that looks a bit like a... Oh, well, I was going to say Minecraft grass block, but it's a, sl <laughs> it's a slant, so... Unless you're modding it with that weird mod that makes things smooth and stuff, that's not going to be a thing. Wait a minute. I mean, this, this. Yeah, I mean, this looks like my castle. It looks like a part. I mean, my castle was a mess on season three JFS, so. This is quite accurate. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just in time with the song as well. There we are. There it is. Never mind this. Blur, blur. Season three castle. Maybe not. Anyway, that is going to do it for this little Lego stream. Need some more Chinese flags. Damn, you're right. Uh, I will do another one of these soon, and I will get this built. I promise. Hopefully, when the weather's a little less boiling, and I can uh, not need to use my sweat rag. Dennis, did you see my sweat rag? Before I finish, one more thing. Dennis, here's my sweat rag. Can you see? <laughs> i got to stop showing people my sweat rag. Anyway, uh, thank you all very much for coming along and and watching me. <laughs> wow. Watching me build. I hope it was, I hope it was you know, quite chill. Uh, this set's looking good, though. I really like it. It's very cute. Like, lots of little details. The bubblegum machine and... Yeah. Good stuff. Very pleased with it so far. And hopefully it will look even better with the next one. So yeah. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys in a future video or a future live stream. See you later.